Hey everyone, welcome to the Mariel Header. My name is Mariel, and today I'm going to review the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara by Thrive Cosmetics. I'm always on the hunt for great mascaras, and the other day I saw that Kathleen Lights made a video where she talked about how much she loved this mascara, and being that it is cruelty free and vegan, and from a company that I want to try more and more stuff from, I decided to get it and try it out. I have very finicky lashes, they are very straight, longish, thickish, and they will not hold their curl with any old mascara. Insert clip of my lashes. I have to be really careful with the mascara I use and the way I apply my mascara in order for my lashes to stay curled and look thick and like I'm actually wearing mascara. Now my all-time favorite okay. mascara is the mascara by Ere Perez. It is an oil-based mascara so it's a little waxier. It just makes my lashes look so long, so thick. It holds my curl. A tip that a friend gave me, uh, Nena of Live La Vida Cruelty Free on Instagram, she told me that she cannot use mascara that is water-based because anything that's water-based undoes her curl. And when she told me that I was like, Ugh. She's absolutely right. That's why the Edipitis mascara works on me. Now, this mascara is water-based, but it is probably the only water-based mascara that I really like. Now, this mascara is not cheap. It is $24, but it has amazing ingredients. It is sulfate-free, paraben-free, vegan cruelty-free, all the good stuff. And I think I forgot to mention this in my Warm Eyes Palette uh, versus video. Thrive donates a product to women in need for every item that you buy. So not only are you getting fun stuff for your face, <laughs> you're also helping women in need. So those $24 are very worth it. Okay, so pros and cons. This mascara is pretty much like a tubing mascara. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, when I just got this and I was trying it out, I had like an emotional breakdown. <laughs> I was weeping, I was crying heavily while I had this mascara on and the mascara just kind of like fell off my face. It didn't smudge, it didn't give me like those crazy black streak marks on my face but I just saw like the little pieces of mascara kind of like falling. You can see this as a good or bad thing. I think it's a good thing because that just means this mascara will come off very easily at the end of the day. You're not gonna have to struggle like getting off a very waxy mascara. Like if you have very brittle lashes or you just hate spending a lot of time taking off mascara, this is gonna be great for you. But since it does come off very easily, I wouldn't recommend this for like a big day. Like if it's your wedding or I don't know, somewhere where you're gonna get emotional and cry, I wouldn't take this. I would recommend this for every day. So I'm wearing the mascara right now. I'm gonna show you some clips of me putting it on. So there are my lashes. Again, straight. Not too thick, not too long. So I do have to really pump my curler when I'm curling my lashes. The curl does have to be a little extreme in order for it to hold up. And as you can see, the spoolie is very soft and bendy. It is not like a traditional spoolie. I tend to not put mascara all the way to the bottom of the shaft of my lashes, you know, the closest to my eyelid. I have to leave a little space because if I do that, the mascara just pulls down on my lashes. So what I always do is apply the mascara from the mid shaft of my lash to the very tip. So there you go. There is a mascara application tip from me. I was never able to pull off good lashes when I did the wiggle technique at the base of the lashes. This mascara isn't going to leave your lashes looking wispy and fluffy. It's gonna leave them looking a little clumpy or spiky. That's a better word. It's gonna leave them looking more doll-like, which I like. This dries really fast. This doesn't leave your lashes feeling sticky, which is something I hate because then my lashes get tangled. So here you can compare my bare lashes to the lashes with the mascara on. All right, end of the close-up. This is how my lashes look normally. This is my everyday lash look. <laughs> All right, 
right, so there you have it. There's my review. Like I said, there are some pros and cons to this mascara. So take all of what I said into consideration when deciding to try this out or not. I like it. I'm gonna use this as my new everyday mascara. Comment down below if you also suffer <laughs> from the same dilemma as me where uh, your mascara just brings down your lashes and uh, let's see what else oh in case you're curious uh, I'm wearing the Wet n Wild liquid catsuit in Sleepy Hollow and Rebel Rose on my lips today and I have the Carly Bible palette on my eyes and I haven't been chewing my nails down to a nub in the past few weeks so they look pretty decent which means I'm wearing nail polish again. Uh, right now I have Pacifica's Dark Desert Highway on. It is such a pretty pinky brown nude. And that's it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video and until then, bye.